Hey, I'm Leif, and we are outside the Rock the Bike Workshop. And I'm going to show you how to set up the Fender Blender um, Pro with a spin art machine. So, the first step is to take your spin art machine and screw the legs on. Next we're going to bring the spin art machine up to the bike. The U-shaped section of the spin art machine nests on the fender blender platter here. And then if the legs aren't the right length, they telescope so you can adjust them. Just turn the end of the leg clockwise until it slides. Now I can slide it up and down, slide it down to touch the ground, and then turn it counterclockwise to lock it in place. Next we're going to attach the spin art machine to the fender blender using these J hooks and wing nuts. So I'm going to take the J hook, drop it through the slot, and then pivot it underneath the fender blender platter. There's a little hole in the bottom of the fender blender platter, so we're going to push that up into the hole and now tighten the wing nut. Do the same thing on the other side. Next step is to attach the pulley between the fender blender drive and the spin art machine. So I'm going to take the pulley, hold it up against the tire, and then rotate the tire backwards so it slides behind this roller. Do that one more time. For so I just hold it up next to it and then give it a little push, pop through. Pull it up so it sits in this pulley groove. And now with two hands, careful not to pinch yourself, I'm going to stretch it around the blender, around the spin art machine pulley, which is this black plastic pulley. Next, put the easel onto the spin art machine. On the bottom there's this metal plate with a square hole. Align that square hole with the square drive. And now we're ready to actually make spin art. So I have a standard 8.5 by 11 piece of paper here. You can also use 5.5 by 8.5 paper and 4 by 7 inch paper. Um, all you need to do is retie the elastic cord here through these different holes to fit different size paper. Take your paper, slide it under, slide the corners under the little restraints. I like to use no more than three colors um, because if you use too many colors it all starts turning to brown. So um, you may need to adjust the height of the seat for different size peddlers. Do that with a quick release right here. Make sure not to go past the minimum insertion line right here because then there's almost nothing left to the seat post. And there we are, pedal powered spin art. It's a good idea to let these dry for a little while. So if you, um, if you hang them up, they take usually 10 to 15 minutes, just depending on how much paint um, your artist has put on there. That's it, that's uh, how you set up and install the 
Spin Art Machine on a Fender Blender Pro. Thanks for watching.